So, uh, John Meacham, my favorite President's Day story is Bill Clinton gathering uh, foreign contributors in the White House and announcing to them, this is the day in America that we call President's Day. Uh, I thought that was sort of a laugh because, of course, he was getting money from people that did not know what President's Day was. But you were... You, were ha you, you put some pretty interesting quotes out this weekend about the importance that past presidents saw in electing the right type of president. Uh, I thought, I thought it's very timely. Yeah, John Adams said, and this is uh, obviously in the very beginning, that it, it's absolutely crucial who the people send to the presidency. And that sort of blows up this myth that uh, in the early days that the presidency didn't matter as much. It was Article Two, not Article I. Uh, the founders understood, most of them, that the office was, as a historian would later say, one of the oldest in, in humankind, an elective kingship. And that's what this is. Uh, the president has incredible force uh, over not only a country's politics, but its culture. And that's what makes this weekend and the last uh, however long America's been held hostage uh, since, <clears throat> since uh, January of 17 so remarkable. Uh, FDR said uh, in 1932 that the presidency is not merely an office of efficiency. It's not an engineering job. That was to take a shot at Herbert Hoover, who was an engineer. Right. It is preeminently a place of moral leadership. And what he or ultimately she does matters. And what's happened here is pretty clearly in the last uh, 14 months, 13 months, we have a president who is coarsening a culture that's in desperate need of being told that hope should matter more than fear. Right. And George Washington also said that our republic only worked and that office only worked if if the occupants were virtuous people. Uh, and of course, uh, we're having some some challenges. You were over in Munich uh, this this weekend. David, um, obviously our national security advisor, uh, made news by telling the truth, by saying what everybody else in Washington was saying and everybody else in the Trump administration had been saying. But, but um, talk about the unease that, that you picked up in, in Munich. Munich is a, a symbol, the annual Munich Security Conference, uh, of the continuity in U.S. alliances and policies. Uh, Mika's dad would go there year after year and speak with other. Senator McCain has been a regular. And, and the uh, point of this conference every year is to, is to reassert the things that really make a difference uh, in keeping America a steady uh, a leader in its, in, its, in its alliances and partnerships. I actually thought that continued. It continued despite this president. Mm -hmm. You had H.R. McMaster speaking as national security advisor in, as President Trump said, direct contradiction to what the president was saying back in the White House. Uh, you had Dan Coats, um, uh, the director of national intelligence, calling the Russian foreign minister a liar before wow. the audience and saying, I'd like to take him to the CIA where it says on the wall, you shall see the truth and the truth shall set you free. That was a good moment. Coates. Dan Coates, not, not often actually, the most outspoken. The, the, the former senator from Indiana. You, you had the number two guy at the State Department saying to, to the Europeans, Despite what you may see in the tweets, uh, we're committed to the joint, uh, the Iran nuclear deal. Yeah. Despite what you may read in the tweets, the, our strategy for North Korea is diplomatic. So what a contrast. You had a, a president flailing back home oh. wildly, and you had an effort to say to our allies, there's continuity here outside the person of the president. So Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube, and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories, and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.